Well, hello, YouTubers and my buddies and friends. This is Vicki, and I'm back with my video response, part two, for Nicole Scrapology's uh, 2000 Subby Challenge. Now, I'm going to first show you my layout, and then I'm going to briefly go over what I did use and did not use. I pulled a lot of stuff, and I do that often, and I end up not using it, but that's okay. I'd rather be over-prepared than underdressed, if you know what I mean. Here you'll see my 12 by 12 layout. The background is October Afternoon. Uh, the Sidewalks collection. This cardstock here is just some of that 12 by 12 cardstock from Recollections. Then I also used this red cardstock, which I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but it's embossed. And that's also uh, from Recollections brand. So hopefully this counts as my, I actually have three different manufacturers of paper and that is like an eight and a half by 11 pack that I picked up at Michael's eons ago you guys know I'm trying to use up that old stuff uh, so there's the you she wanted you to use at least two different types of paper from two different manufacturers so that's a check on that one then you'll see I used Thickers, that's the same font, and I think that's called Giggles. And this is from my buddy Shelly, and I'm going to leave her name here on the screen, because I, she, she's three happy words, and I always get those happy words mixed up depending on the day. So I'll leave that here, and she sent me a rack with these uh, Prima letters. This is a sticker from Sidewalks Collection. These little breads, how cute are they, is from Doodlebug Incorporated. Here, I just took some, uh, again, off-white ivory cardstock. This was 8.5 by 11, so I didn't have to cut up a whole... 12 by 12 sheet to use and I put my journaling on there. Don't you like how it runs uphill just slightly? I did that on purpose. No, I'm lying. I did not do that on purpose. Something on my page always, no matter what I do, I could use a protractor to measure things. I could use a level and something always has to be a little cockeyed. And it drives me nuts. Look, I got this pretty straight for once. And then, boom, up the hill. Yeah, what are you going to do? Like I say, it's not going to be in the Smithsonian Institute. Thank heavens. And if I keep doing layouts like this, I doubt they'll ever be anywhere except my album. Anyway, let's go on. Here's that paper from Recollections. I just wanted to use it as a mat. You'll see this little number is from those chic tags Bubble Expressions, I'll show you that in a minute. This summer, 2009, is from that. And I was worried that these would fall off, so I put glossy accents over it. It kind of wrinkled up that paper, but oh, who cares? I glued it down. This, I've always loved this tree, and I really didn't expect that I would use that, but I did. And it's from the PB&J sticker sheet by, uh, oh, did I say s sticker chic? Like, super chic, super chic, she's super chicy. Did I say that? It's su, oh, now I can't say it at all. Sticker sheet, the sticker sheet from PB and J by Basic Gray. Here's one of those little fences from Michaels. Love them. I didn't even paint it. And this little chipboard is also from the Sidewalks collection. You'll see I took some little apples and dropped down here. So it looks like, you know, the apples are dropping from the tree. Maybe it means the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Maybe there's a hidden message in that. I don't know. Anyway, more stickers down here. I'm just being silly. I think that's it. So she wanted us to use three 
embellishments from three different manufacturers. So I would say I did that. More than did that. Here's one embellishment. Here's two. This is from one company. This is another. Here's an embellishment. It's from a third company. This is from a fourth company. This is from the same company as this, but this is from a different company. So I at least hit three. I think there might even be four or five. This layout turned out nothing like my drawings, you know those great drawings I did that Rashida made fun of a little old, <laughs> a little old lady, <laughs> a little old lady, Rashida, don't make fun of little old ladies, shame on you, <laughs> listen, every time I think about it, I have to laugh, so I loved it, you know, I might not have much left, guys, but I still have a little sense of humor, Anyway, that's my layout. My journaling reads, as I make this layout, it is September of 2012. You're six years old now, and we still do not know why or where you came up with the name Uncle Goose. I guess you were about a year old, and you just called out, Uncle Goose, come here. Of course, we all got a kick out of that. One thing for sure, you do love your Uncle Goose. I think it's apparent how comfortable you are with him here on Dad's couch. It looks like Dad bothered you both when taking this picture. Ha ha. I seem to always do my layouts like a story or a letter to my grandson. I don't know why I do that. Maybe it's because he's the only person around here I really like. I don't know. That's not true. I'm just teasing. Don't be calling 621 kids on me. I mean, you, you can't. My son's 29. He always says, if you keep saying that or doing that to me, Mom, I'm going to call 241 kids or whatever it is. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're 29 years old. Wait till they hear that. So it's kind of a running joke, but it's not really funny. I have a lot of trouble with journaling sometimes. Times, and if I can think about who I'm telling the story to, then I do better. And usually I pick Nate. Listen, let's face it, when he's 50, 60 years old, I'm probably not going to be around. If I am, I'm going to be on that guy who does the weather on WLWT, and he's like, today's Smucker's old person of the week is 107 years old. It's Vicky. Me love Bono. So I don't even know that I want to be around at 108, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, I want to leave him some kind of legacy. I want him to know the things that we did in his life when he was younger and blah, blah, blah. So I guess maybe that's why I always kind of write a letter to Nate, but sometimes I leave the letters for someone else. Not often. Anyway, that's my thought process. Here's the things I did use. I used this, Recollections cardstock. I used the, uh, let's see, the foam stickers from American Craft. I used this red embossed cardstock and maybe you can see how that yeah there you go i used the sheet tags i used the doodle bug design boutique brads these are really cute guys and they have a whole bunch of different types like coffee cups, teapots, all different kinds of shapes. Just cute as can be. I stumbled upon them. Probably everybody else knows about them. And there's that uh, Sidewalks sticker sheet. I love a sticker sheet, don't you? I mean, you know, sometimes I buy the sticker sheets when I don't buy the collection. also love a good chipping stick. And I used that little uh, duck from here. I used that paper from Sidewalks. I used the tree from PB&J. And now I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. I might have to get another one of those just so I have one to hoard. I used the uh, black letters from the Prima Alphabets. Now, and here's a bunch of stuff I did not use. I'm not going to go through all this saying I didn't use this. But look, that's the stuff I pulled. And look how much is left. 
But you know what? I'm going to do another layout today, so maybe I'll use some of that. Some, A couple of the items that I really wanted to use and I planned on using would be some of my wood veneers, these buttons, whoops, my little labels and tags from uh, October afternoon. I really wanted to use this, but I just couldn't find a place for it. I really wanted to use some of my L Studio new stamps, but it just you know, it, I, there's just, I couldn't use it. This layout took a whole turn from what I expected to happen. But I'm okay with it, except for the slanty journaling. I really wanted to stamp on this, you know, and stick it on there, which I did do that. But, look, see, here's how it turned out. And uh, I used that VersaFine ink on this. Oh, it's so cute. And I even broke the end of it thinking that might look better on it, but it didn't. It just didn't look right. Um, so I probably, now, as I go on to my next layout, that will be stuck in my head, and I will want to stamp on a popsicle stick and put it on my layout. Anyway, there's my submission. Good luck to everyone playing, uh, Nicole, thanks for having this. It was really a, a fun, different challenge, that's for sure. I have a new respect for everybody who does the process videos because they take a little time, don't they? See, there's that bubble sticker. I really like how this little corner came out down here, but like I said, the only thing that happened here that I expected was the striped paper in the background with the ivory colored paper on top. That's something I really wanted to do. I used the title that I wanted to use, Duck, Duck, Uncle Goose. Um, but it, it that's not what I was expecting. Anyway, you know what? It... It's not bad. There's parts of it I like. Overall, this is not one of my favorite layouts, but it's going to work because it's showing the picture. I don't like to put too many embellishments or too many papers on my layouts. I tend to be more of a clean line scrapper, and I love you guys who do layouts with oodles of papers and oodles of embellishments. But I don't know how you do it. For me, it doesn't look good like yours does. It just looks tacky or random. So that's something I've got to learn a bit better is how to do that. You know, I've tried to learn for the past year, and I still have not caught on. I don't know. Anyway, guys, good luck to everyone again Nicole, thanks for having this, and I'll be back soon, maybe with another layout. Thanks so much for watching. Love you all.